A stand if you think it's you. Nope, 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 yes. <laughs> Try again, yep. <laughs> Evidence of alignment or trying too hard? <laughs> what is it? Trying too hard. You know it. I know. We liked it anyway. <laughs> Nothing wrong with faking it till you make it, except that it never works. <laughs> you know, I got, I got caught up in that trap of faking it till you make it. It's all right. Early in my life, I've, right. I've, I read a book by uh, Vincent Peale, I think it was, about you can choose to be happy, and I chose to be happy, and I took it way too far, and I it's been a good good part of my life here's the distinction and now we can talk about it now that we've talked about so many other things the thing about choosing to be happy and here's the distinction happy chooses you that's getting out ahead of it when you're out ahead of it then the happy thought just is in your mind and you're just happy but if you're not happy and you're trying to choose the happy thought it's harder to do can you feel the distinction be as happy as you can be and let that be enough and then be as happy as you can be and let that be enough and you know your inner being loves every bit of whatever you are it's just other people that have kind of got you confused about that you say yeah your, yeah. your teachings has, has allowed me to fall in love with myself there I didn't used to like myself too there much you these days I love myself yeah well with good reason with good reason so that's what you've come to give us what more do you want here I could use a little help with the practicability my my wife and myself as a matter of fact she's uh, brought me to you first many years ago and she was one of my better friends and I had I was a pretty unpleasant man back then and remember she brought you and said fix him please not like that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, she brought me to, uh, to when you your seminars was my introduction to you and it turned out to be a disaster but it was probably one of the best disasters of my life and uh, I felt like I lost this best friend and I was really scared and uh, but it, 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 it turned out really well it turned out really well and so from where you stand now what clarification are you reaching for we've been uh, considering changing homes we you've paid for ours and and we're going to sell it and, and, and move out more out of the city. We're both retired. We want to get away from the, the hustle and bustle in the city. And we're going to want to move up a little farther north. So just now, you did some daydreaming that's helpful and some daydreaming that isn't. Yeah. Esther's begun calling it, am I daydreaming or nightmaring? Because sometimes she'll find herself on a train of thought and it gets a little bigger. And suddenly she'll think to herself, what in the world am I doing? And so when you're thinking about what you want, that's helpful. When you're trying to get out of the hustle and bustle of the city, that's not so helpful because it contradicts the vibration. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. So here's our question to you. And you really help us wrap this all up into a way that can be very helpful for everyone else. So do you think that you are willing, capable? Do you think you're at the place where you could do this? where you could just let the ideas come to you dream it and hold off on trying to make anything happen or take any action do you think you could do that i believe i believe we could i really do the reason we ask is because and here's the distinction if you've really got the hang of dreaming then you're happy right where you are and it just gets bigger and bigger until you can't help but move into an even more pleasing place but if you don't have the hang of that and you're trying to fix something that isn't quite right then you keep dragging that other stuff into it and wanting to take action too soon can you feel the distinction if what you're looking for is a better feeling place to live then isn't what you're really looking for is just a better feeling place so our question to you is can you find the better feeling place without the urge to make a move right now to turn the better feeling place into something that is a reality that everyone else can see. Oh, we're, we're, we're I'm, both of us are very pleased with the house we're in. It's, it's uh, we're not very pleased, but it's, it's, 
we're looking for a better place so we can't be very pleased but but we really want to drive this point home in a way that you can really hear it if you think about what it feels like to be in a really good feeling space what comes most to your mind oh nature <laughs> so start right there can you because you're already in that vibration of alignment can you let yourself receive non-resistant thoughts of that can you daydream around that and nothing other than that for a moment oh i i i more than daydream about that we so describe that to us just for a moment well we we live close to an open space we just want the daydream the daydream nothing real or practical just uh, the daydream the daydream is to walk out my front door and, and do my I do a sunrise or ritual. maybe not even out of a door just be out there yeah just, just be out there yeah. and what does that out there feel like connection alignment uh, what does it smell like it feels like I'm amongst my, the creature teachers that that show me the show me the pure way positive and, energy surrounded by pure positive pure energy positive and what energy. does that feel like bliss feels like alignment and alignment, bliss, bliss and, and eagerness and eagerness. in this dream do you want to look out and see anything and what do you see vistas hardly anything grass is blowing maybe a critter over there and a critter lots over there lots of critters lots of critters and so as you just stay with that for a little bit as you let that vision just bliss you out and not try to turn it into anything productive but just enjoy the feeling of that now you are out ahead of that now you own that vibration and that vibration will lead to another thought of non-resistance and another thought of non-resistance and another thought of non-resistance so you might do that every day for a while until in that non-resisted state something is offered to you that just feels familiar like that feels your practical mind isn't saying where actually is it or how many square feet is it or how many vehicles can I park there or how long does it take to get there or where are the roads and are the roads open or how much does it cost because all of that is irrelevant because under that blissed out state nothing would come to you that goes crosswise in any way from what's in your vortex or what is a probability Do you follow this if you can trust that the easiest thought which was the one of nature and really nothing else if you can trust that that thought is enough because of the vibration that it produces within you and so you are out ahead of it with your vibration that out ahead of it vibration will bring all of the other details and you will recognize them when you see them can you hear that but if you try to find them before they just come to you if you try to find them from the place of not knowing where they are then you get crossways of it and then it gets hard again and then it slows everything down following you sound just like my wife <laughs> so there so there lies the problem is oh um, let's not nightmare <laughs> no, even it, if it's for fun let's not even do it a little bit not even for fun yeah it's 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 not a problem it's it's but my my, my question is about the uh, it's about practic practicability it's like we just led you on the most impractical yeah. journey that will bring you everything yeah. that you want yeah the most impractical yeah. journey that will bring yeah. you everything that you want okay and when you become like Esther and want to make it practical that's when you start mucking it up and then you got to get over that again so we're just asking you which is easier to find a problem and fix it or to start in a place of no problem which is easier and do you believe that you can start in a place of no problem you really can you really can your vortex is so magnificent and your inner being and all of us are all over it and we've seen it and experienced it and we know it but you can't know what we know completely because we've been non-resistant for so long that we can see the exact precise path of least resistance that you will follow but if we told you even a little bit of it you'd get off on a wild goose chase <laughs> if we told you that you can be or do or have anything that you want money would come into your mind and you would kill the dream <laughs> if we told you that the perfect place has already picked you out and that your inner being will guide you right to it not in the fastest way but in the most satisfying way 
We've enjoyed this interaction more than our words can explain to you. We are eager about what lies before you, but not because the manifestation is so important, but because the dream about it will be so satisfying along the way. Your dreams will feel good to you if you will let yourself dream a little bit. And do not underestimate the power of that. And as the dreams flesh in a little more fully and a little more fully, you'll get hooked on that non-resistant, non-action, non-practical state of being. And then we will tell you what we've been telling Esther for a little while. There is nothing more practical or productive that you could do than let yourself daydream. It is the most productive and practical use of your time. Put yourself into a place where it's easy to do. Go to places where you feel the best. Set yourself up for the success of the dream. Pat yourself on the back every time you catch even a momentary glimpse of it. Take pleasure in your thought and feel the fullness of all of us who surround you. And then enjoy the inevitable, absolute, certain manifestations that must follow. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are complete.